guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about international admission at Betspilani. Now, if you're not an international student, then this video might not be useful for you. So do check out the link in the description. I have a surprise for you guys. Now, if you're an international student watching this video, then do watch until the end. I'll be clearing all confusions and all queries regarding it so that you have a smooth application process when you're applying to Betspilani. Let's get into it. First of all, let me clear some terms. Whenever I say the word international student, I mean people who have a foreign passport. So if you have an Indian passport and if you're living abroad, then you would not be applicable for this. You need to have a foreign passport. Now to get into BITS, uh, there are two options, right? One is giving BITS at, the other one is through ISA, which I'll be explaining further. Now if you're an international student, then you can apply through both the processes. You can give BITS at and also apply through ISA. Now to apply through ISA, you gotta give two tests. The first one is SAT subject test and the second one is SAT, normal SAT. Um, now the primary focus still remains on SAT subject test. You gotta give PCM, physics, chemistry and mathematics. Once you do the subject test for all these three, then uh, you'll be pretty much eligible. And as far as SAT is concerned, uh, you know, SAT doesn't really matter, but you gotta clear uh, the cutoff. I think it's around 1200. So if, you, if you're getting more than 1200, then you're good to go. They don't really care much about your SAT test scores, but SAT subject matters because the branch is allocated based on your SAT subject test score. Uh, different branches like computer science, electrical engineering, uh, mechanical engineering have different cutoffs uh, of the SAT subject test score. So uh, make sure that you give your SAT subject tests very well and if you don't score well then you know maybe you can give a second attempt so that you get a better score because everything is decided based on your SAT subject test score. Now in case two students have the same SAT subject test scores then it trickles down to your SAT scores. So the person who has a higher SAT score gets the preference. Alright, so now you guys might be wondering what's the fees that you have to pay. Yes, it is a bit expensive, it's more than what bed such students would be paying, but you also have scholarships, I'll tell you about scholarships soon. Uh, now during the time of admission, uh, there is something called admission fees, so uh, that's the one-time fee that you have to pay during admission. So for SARC people, people from SARC countries, you have to pay 5 lakhs during admission. For uh, non-SARC people, you have to pay 7.1 lakhs during admission. Uh, it's all in uh, INR. Now, uh, after the admission fee is paid, for all the consequent semesters, for SARC students, you'll have to pay 3.5 lakhs per semester. And for non-SARC students, if you're from the US or the UK, you'll have to pay 5.5 lakhs per semester. Like for other semesters, admission fee is not included, so it gets reduced. Uh, now let's talk about scholarships. Now here's a fees that you guys would be paying. It's twice the fees that students who entered through BITSAT would be paying. So uh, it might be a little bit expensive, but there are scholarships, right? So if, uh, uh, if, if there are like 30 students, then one person would get an 80% scholarship, three people would get, an, get a 50% scholarship, uh, around 10 people get a 30% scholarship, uh, the rest get 15% scholarship if your CGPA is more than six. And if your CGPA is less than six, then you aren't eligible for any kind of scholarships, you'll have to pay the full fees. So make sure you perform well in college so that you get these scholarships and maybe this will help you reduce your fees. Now, uh, during my time, the cutoff for computer science was, I think, 2380 for the Goa campus. Uh, so 20, if, you, if you have more than 2380, then you're eligible for computer science. Uh, I don't have the other cutoffs, but this is the 2017 cutoff. So uh, you might refer to it. Remember, the cutoffs increase tremendously. So do try to score good uh, in the SAT subject tests. In 2017, the cutoff for electrical and electronics engineering was 2190. For mechanical, it was 1840. For computer science, it was 2340. For electronics and instrumentation, it was 1970. For electronics and communication, it was 2170. Uh, so do remember this. Uh, I mean, uh, you can assume a fair amount of increase in cutoff uh, for this year and next year. So cutoff, don't don't trust these cutoffs. Just try your best and score really well in the SAT subject test because that's all that matters when you want to get a good branch. Uh, now you might ask how many students are actually selected in each campus. Uh, in my campus, there are 30 students uh, per batch selected from the ISA uh, procedure, and if uh, I'm assuming it's the same for all campuses. So in all, there'll be 90 students admitted uh, through the ISA process across all three campuses. It's It might be a bit competitive because a lot of people apply. So yeah, make sure your SAT scores are pretty good. 
Uh, now, after you get into the ISA process, everything is the same. You're just another student. So you go to the same lectures, you have the same hostels, you have the same professors. Uh, everything is pretty much the same. So only the application, only the entrance process is different. And uh, that's, that's, that's it. Uh, also, you guys can give BITSAT as well, so international students can get in through both BITSAT and uh, SAT subject tests. Uh, like I got in through both of them, I got ENI through BITSAT and EC through ISA. Uh, so that's that's how it works. You guys can give a shot at BITSAT as well if you have your J means fundamental strong. And uh, apart from that, it like once you get in, it's it's just the same for everyone. Thanks, guys. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, then do comment it out or hit me up on Instagram. And also, uh, I was thinking if there are enough international students, then maybe we can form a WhatsApp group where you guys can you know discuss doubts or ask us questions. So uh, I, I'm leaving a link to international student. WhatsApp group formation. So just fill it up and if I get enough entries then I'll definitely form a WhatsApp group so that you guys can get to know each other better and uh, it'll be like a common platform for you guys to learn and also you can ask us doubts if you have any uh, admission related doubts. So uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you like the video uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Tata. Bye bye. See you. Oh.